back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and today we are back with the 100 Baby Challenge. So everyone is asleep, but our little Tot Tot Quincy, he's working on some skills because he's got, like, life in the handbag. He's got all this energy, so why waste it? Let's get the little Tot moving. I almost get him playing some shim shape next because we got movement up to three, which is all we need in order um, to get him aged up. We're getting kind of a pattern going. We're doing really well. At least we have the last few episodes. Knock on wood that I don't jinx that. All right, little dude, you acquired the thinking skill. How's your sister's skills? She just needs a little more thinking and potty, and she is aged up today. Yay. And she's, like, severely hungry. Wow. Thought I fed her. I thought time was going slow. Mom's up. It's four o'clock in the morning. Why are you up? Probably because you're hungry. Um, instead of getting food, let's serve breakfast. Let's serve French toast today. That's a floating bowl. I'll help mom clean up because I'm nice. French toast. You know, that sounds good. I might have me some French toast today. Um, grab a serving. We're gonna wake little girl up and have her grab a serving. Because she is, like, starving. Go get your own serving. Kids are up. Come grab a serving. They're such good sisters. They get up and they just start talking to each other. They're like, okay. Anchi, come grab a serving. You. Go potty. I am so tired of you in this diaper and needing a bath all the time. Get to potty level three. Ugh, and you stopped short, so you're going again. Dude, I thought I told you to go eat. And then you're going to sleep. Okay, potty level three. And then you are going to come do sim shape. Mama... You need to come vacuum. Go make our money for the day. Quit throwing a fit and go to bed like I told you. Nancy is sitting next to a new kid at lunch when she spies something pink in his lunch bag. Is that a bib? The kid smiles nervously and claims to have gotten his baby's sister's lunch again. When the bib falls out everywhere, can, everyone can see it. Pick it up or ignore it. Let's ignore it. That got us. Lunch is oh, almost over when the class bully notices the bib on the floor. He can't wait to find the little baby who dropped it. And the new kid says nothing, and neither does Nancy, who may have just made a new friend. Alright, it is time to age up little Penelope. Because she just got level 3. Help blow out candles. Penelope. Oh, the kids are calling from school again. All right, Penelope, stop. Yay. 
All right, let's age up Penelope. <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> okay, put her down so she can age up. Put her down, Mom. Put her down. Okay, come on, Penelope. And she is from fussy to a dog lover. Oh. She can be motor. No, she needs to be creativity or social. Um, social. Girl, you are not keeping that purple hair. I have to tell you. You had orangish hair. You are getting the orangish hair back. In fact, we are going to do it right now. Alright. Let's take those off. And your hair color changed with that. Let's take that off. And... Yeah, it's the mid-grade. I thought so. Let's put you on some skin details. And that one. That one. And... That one. Oh, that's so cute. And I can't do these inky dinky eyes. Thank you. Sorry, can't do that, guys. I just... Just can't. There we go. They can have whatever eye shape they are with, but the pupils, I require a specific size. <laughs> I cannot handle when my sims have small eyes. All right, she had that color hair. That's not bad. That's cute. It would be right there, thank you. Eh. Yeah, I guess it was right. Um. cute oh that's cute on her okay we're gonna go with that that is cute on her or should we go on that one I think I like this one better okay little side braid and Let's do some styled looks. We ain't done those in a while. And nope. That's a cute little styled look and new. Oh, yeah. Those mm -hmm. colors look better on her. Oh, that color looks really good. Okay. And... go with white she can go with that she can sleep in that party wear we already got that you can go partying in that swimwear hot weather <laughs> That's cute. And cold weather. There we go. Alright. Told you we weren't going to be in here long. I just wanted to give her a quick 
look a little better than what the game always gives you because it gives you some funkiness. Let me just remind you, some funkiness. So I hope everyone is having a really good day. Leave me down in the comments what was the best part of your day so far. Uh, mine? Make it gnomes. <laughs> I have quite been enjoying myself. Oh my gosh, could this loading screen be any longer? Thank you. <laughs> I guess just scream at your computer. There's my mouse. I was like, where did I go? Alright. Penelope is stinky. So let's come take a shower. You can come use. And then that should take care of you. And then mom. Once you serve brunch. Let's do some eggs and toast. Get a bit more food in the house here. Oh. Forgot to pay the bills. Come pay the bills, honey. While you're here, get the mail. Go back to the eggs and toast. <clears throat> Alright, this is the principal's visit. Um, if you've watched this whole episode, then you know this. If you're new, you don't, so I'm going to read it anyways. Um, everyone is to be on their best behavior and not interrupt the lesson. Unfortunately, the kid sitting behind her has decided to pelt her with something. Should she ignore it or ask the kid to stop? We are going to ignore it. Uh, Olivia keeps her eyes trained diligent dutiful on the board. What the? Hoping that the kid will stop. Instead, the kid fires the ball of paper so hard it rolls up past the teacher's feet for once somebody else gets in trouble. And Olivia gets the look innocent and studious. All right. Get those eggs done, Mama, because you've got to go potty. I think these two are going to be vampires. They're some of the palest kids we've had. Come on. Let's put that up. Go potty. Go, Mama, go. Take a nap. Kiddo, you don't have to sleep there. Go sleep here. What busted? Okay. Get your sleep up a little bit so the kids come home. All right, who got their grades up? Yay, you're an A student. Oh, you almost got up there. All right, Nancy, it's time to age up. I love this game. This has been going great lately. Knock on wood. Come blow out candles, girl. Time to get up, go here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Become a teen. You are a geek and Animal enthusiast. Okay. We'll give you the anim friends of animal shape then. Add birthday candles. 
And I'll let you look like that for the rest of the episode. And then I will change you. Because I didn't think we'd have another kid. And I don't want to go back into cash yet. I ain't going to lie. Just not going to. I don't want to. I don't want to and you can't make me yeah. I don't want to and you can't make me yeah. Start working carefully. You got a school project? You got a school project. School project for you. School project for you. You get to get that out of your inventory. And do your homework. And then you can do your homework. And then you can do your homework. And oh yeah. That is how the 100 baby house rocks. We don't care about none of this stuff. Kids have plenty of toys. We don't need any more plants. Someone just face planted. So we are going to sell everything we got in the mail, which, oh my gosh, was a lot. How long have I not checked the mail? There's no way all of this came at one time. No. I'm too busy to click you, though. We have a loan? Oh, okay. Let's repay that. And destroy, and now we're broke again. Okay. Hey! Who did not start their school project? That would have been you. Start working carefully. You don't get to play? Hey, you. Come work carefully. You don't get to play in this house. This is how the 100 baby house rules. You do work. And you age up. And get out of the house. This kid just wants to sleep constantly. Why don't you get you some food? You're not tired. And then you could come clean us up and help mom around the house since all you want to do is sleep. Oh no, she's gone into labor. We're gonna have a baby. We're gonna have a baby. Okay. Okay, it's a boy, so S name. How come every time we need one, they never pop up? Any other time, they do. I just need an S name game. Fine. Steven. There we go. Steven Sanders. Yay, it was only one baby. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, because we could have more because uh, we got rid of everybody. Alright, super efficient. Come mop that. And then let's serve dinner. Chicken stir fry. That sounds good, too. Man, I'm just hungry. <laughs> Alright, time for you to get up, little dude. You got any potty skill yet? No. Potty help. Can't ask your sister? Well, she's asleep. She needs to get up and take care of herself. Um, um, get leftovers and then go to sleep. Are you literally still working on that?
Are you done yet? Okay. Yay, you finished it. The second I said don't. Little dude, you are bad. Okay. Go here. Go here. Mom? Can't you use another bathroom? Go use that toilet. And then grab a serving and go to sleep. Okay, mom, give Quincy a bubble bath. There we go. Potty train Quincy. Potty train Quincy. You? You wanted to go to bed all this time. Now I can't get you in bed. Sign bed. Go to sleep. Ah, I'm in here. You know what? You're sleeping. I should just be thankful. Okay, she face planted. Quincy is very hungry. Well, let's not go wake up everybody. There is food out. Come grab a serving. Why is everything breaking? Oh my gosh! Why did I have to say everything was good in this household? <laughs> I have jinxed it. Come grab a serving. You passed out. You're fine. Now you need to eat. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. Gosh, we need a better schedule. <laughs> this one's up already. Go to bed. Baby screaming. Oh my gosh. Mom's going to face plant a lot today. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get her pregnant. She is just aging up. Okay. I'm gonna let you get a little bit of sleep. <laughs> okay. Well, dude, I gave you a bath. Why do you look so horrible? Ugh. Play some shape. Now sit down, play. Look, none of my kids are up for school. They are all so out. Yep. Not gonna get their homework done. Off to school you go. <laughs> Alright. Listen to teacher, guys. Alright, mom, you can't sleep long. You've got to get pregnant. Okay. Little dude skills. Oh, he's already at two on that. Okay. Play here then, dear. My bad. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> All right, and then we need to check. Is there anyone mom knows? Or are we on to send a dating app? Hmm. 
You know him. Okay. I really don't care if you're married. I just want you to come over. Come get to know. Try to cheer him up. Share tips. Discuss fitness. Give him a compliment. Tell him a funny story. Oh, there goes kids. Talk about cooking. Share people person tips. Okay, deal, dude. Come play dolls now. Because you'll be out of the way. Alright. Put the clay away and pay attention to me. Oh. He's flirty now. Well, let's help that out. Embrace. Blowing the kiss. Give him a sexy pose. You do not need to check the kid. The kid is fine. I checked for you. First kiss. You just need to get pregnant. As you put on the show for the neighbors here and be like, this is how you snag a married man, y'all. Just like this. Oh, no. I don't have my option. Um, compliment appearance. Oh, because they weren't done with their interaction yet. Try for baby. No. Try for baby. Pregnancy test. Mom, you can sleep after this. Come on. Yes. Where is he at? He left. Okay, we'll invite him over later and ask to be friends. Oh. I lied. Steven needs you. Okay, kids are done with school. Someone got their grades up. Let's see. We have a C student, a B student. All right. So she got up to a B. So not enough to age up anyone, but good enough to call it a good episode. Well, almost. She'll be a B student here really soon. So we can get rid of that. You can do your homework. You're too uncomfortable, so let's fix the uncomfortableness. And order medicine for you. Take medicine. And then go to sleep, kid. Oh, I hate that you did that. Cause now I'm gonna make you repair it. 
Do homework. You feel better? You need to come do that. Clean that for mom. And come and play this and get yourself sorted. This one just needs to sleep. And is only going to take a nap. What a good kid. You're getting your fun up. Hey, you were doing such a good job. Come watch that movie. Alright, mom, you're good enough. Get up. Take a shower. You are one stinky mama. We could have twins, possibly, guys. Hopefully not. So we can keep the baby system rolling and not mom aging up. But she is big quickly. Scary. Alright, mom. You need to come... Serve dinner, chicken, scabawaba. We'll do get up. Last reason, no one wanted to play with me. I just climbed around on my own. If it happens again, what should I do? Just play on your own. Ask other kids if you can join in. Yep, that's better. Alright, you feel in like crap, but you're bouncy. Okay. Do that. Um, take a speedy shower. Mom's cooking. You can breeze through your homework. Then you can come grab a serving. Mom can grab a serving. Little baby can come grab a serving. You're hungry. Come grab a serving. You're hungry and flirty. Come grab a serving. Okay, I think I got them all sorted out. Mom, you got baby duty. I hear Steven. Then we need to come make our money for the day. Uh -huh. That did not get in the fridge. I thought I heard Coplon. Before you go, can you clean up that? And then go to bed? And it's 10.30 at night. Go to sleep. You're getting on a better schedule. You're getting on a sleep schedule with everyone else. You're not going to go talk to mom. And you are definitely going to bed. And the only one up playing is mom. Whatever. She takes care of herself usually. Okay. Woo! We have made it through, y'all. And with that, I am going to end this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. If you did, you know what to do. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Yes, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And I greatly appreciate you taking the time to push that button. And if you're here listening to me ramble at the end of this and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. I won't charge you, but 
I will talk to you again next time because you can hit the notification bell next to it and you get notified when I put up the next one. So that way you won't miss anything that you like. So I hope you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in Zweetieville. But until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetie-licious day. Bye, guys.